Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to your reading. Let's see what energies and messages we have for you today concerning love. Energies and messages please for the sign of Pisces concerning love. Ace of Swords, communication, realisation, inspiration, good ideas. It's a nice energy to start with. Seven of Wands. Yeah, there is some obstacles in your path. A few challenging aspects in your life at the moment. But you're learning. The magician, somebody here is ready to communicate, ready to talk, empress, wow, did you meet somebody nice in the past, love developed, your intuition kicked in, Something told you this person was for you. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. Oh, yes. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Coming into your own. I could see conversations going on here between you two and, you know, getting to know each other. Could be distance between you, though. I'm picking up enthusiasm. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Feeling isolated. Yeah, this this COVID thing, and apart from the COVID thing and personal issues, this you know it's keeping you apart. This is their energy. To a cups. This is a soulmate you're dealing with. Perhaps they're in a relationship, you're, you're kind of waiting for them to leave that relationship. Let's see how this goes. Strength card, Leo energy. I'm getting the sense here that they're Somebody here is plucking up the courage to communicate and tell the truth. Queen of Pentacles. This is all about being practical. Planning. Planning for the future. Making plans. Mm. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person is a soulmate. There is love there. For some of you, there'll be loving communication. It's all about following your heart. You feel, you do feel connected to this person in a special way. You're determined to get there. your happiness I feel a, there'll be a breakthrough with regards to these challenges you face i.e. distance if they're in a relationship if you're in a relationship this is a general reading so take it out it resonates but there's a lot of challenges there between you and I do see a breakthrough I see planning hmm Six of Cups, it's definitely love here. For a lot of you, this is a person from the past.
I'm getting reuniting. I'm getting communication, bringing in balance. Is it your Sagittarius energy here? Somebody wants to heal a rift of some kind here. I feel here there's an opportunity for you two to get back together and kind of sort the karma out. I feel this is a karmic connection. You've definitely got a history with this person. Now, before a lot of you put in the comments, for whatever reason, I don't want my ex back. Please remember here there is free will. Whether you accept this person back or not is will be down to you. But I do see the chance of a reconnection. Yeah, you intuitively know that this person's right. And they're feeling the same. They're feeling the same. And I feel as if you want it, as you two get to know each other and become much more comfortable, you know, you're about to write a new chapter in this connection. Look at that scroll on there. That's yet to be written. But your intuition and your own self-guidance will tell you. But there is a feeling of loneliness here. I feel there's a, there's a nagging feeling that you can't get rid of. You can't let it go. For some reason, you've tried to forget. Some of you, you've tried to move on, but it's not working. You're all the time being pulled back, and they're the same. Look, there's no opportunity. You know, you've, you've been apart, you've not communicated, you know, but you both feel in isolation, but you both feel in this pull between you. This, I... In this case, this ace of wands represents the pull between you. Yeah, ten of pentacles. I feel this person's quite happy. They've... They realise the emotional intensity between you, but there's, there's some split loyalties here. I feel this person is... Maybe even if they are communicating, it's dribs and drabs. They're in a, they're in a relationship. But there's a lot of internal conflict here needs to be... conquered. Conflicting conflict needs to be conquered. Boy, I wouldn't want to say that when I'd had a few. Yeah, it's a certain amount of pride and here involved. Yeah, making choices. Somebody here has got. It will make a choice. It's quite burdensome. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But this choice is confusion. And again, it's another 10. There's a, there's a shift. Tens to me are always a, a shift in the energy, especially between two soulmates. I feel they're quite comfortable, but there's there's a choice here to be made. Yes, somebody here is feeling stuck. They've got all sorts of things going around in their head with this Eight of Swords. But I feel this is you. Somebody here is reluctant to propose something, make an offer. But I feel that there will be a message. Page of Wands, won't be much. Won't be much, but it's a little bit. It'll kind of rock the boat though all of a sudden with a tower here. But you're dealing with a soulmate. 
somebody coming round from the past, but there's a lot of complications with situations. And emotions being all over the place as well. I hope that's helped in some way and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.